So, I don't know if I'm going to make this into a video or not, but I checked my requirements. We have everything we need to do the Legends quest. And I've got a load of unenchanted skills necklaces. So, fuck it. Let's main game. We've got 14 days of Bond membership. Just starting today. Let's see what we get done. Okay, we are a good chunk through Legends Quest. I have already gone through the door. I'm trying to do the part where we don't kill the Eldi. And it wasn't working for us. Maybe we should have been faster. We just keep getting the can't cast that spell on this. So, like, do we need a different charge orb spell? Because we used the same one. We used fire charge orb. Level 3. That's the problem. There we go. Just needed to talk myself through it a little bit. I am a cosmic rune short. Fuck my life. So this, I believe, is the part of the quest that we get stuck on and can't do on the Falador only Ultimate Iron Man. Plug in my other, my other account that I have a series about. adult Yami tree and this is where we need the rune axe which we are working towards on the Falador only area ultimate Iron Man and it has to be a rune axe or better way she goes I guess so this should be quest complete but he's just running around messing up my angle a whole bunch this should be quest complete on the main for the quest that I have been held up for for like two years on the Falador man. One more Herblore level. That quest was actually worth it for the Herblore levels almost alone. Super strength mix, clean snapdragon. I'm happy with this. And now quest complete. There it is. That's what we wanted to see. Quest complete. I can finally go enchant all of these things. Let's go. And now I'm out here doing clue scrolls. And that's basically what day two is. Another wilderness clue. Where is this one? Okay. So we finished the clue without dying in the wilderness. Even though we had three wilderness tasks. I guess it's just not as dangerous as it used to be. And I don't plan to open every clue I'll do over these two weeks in this video, but let's see what's in this first casket at least. First casket on the main in years and years. First hard casket in years and years as a result of that. And we get red dragon hide body tinted, some sweets, and some junk. Cool. I guess that tinted red dragon hide is worth more than I would have assumed it to be. I gotta correct myself. Apparently it's the purple sweets and not that dragon hide top that is most of the money in that treasure trail. Uh, I, I don't know why. Gotta wonder what the hell Rendy is up to that the price of these is so high. Or maybe it's always been and I've just thought they were worthless. I don't know. Okay. We are a little over a week in on the Bond time on the Mainscape journey video thing. Just died. Kind of really sucks because we lost 75 Slayer points worth in a Slayer ring because we wanted to do the 
uh, Tyrant Razor lore mini quest after this quest. We still haven't fought the boss. Maybe I'll record us fighting the boss again, even though we just lost. I'm kind of confused because we fucked up trying to come retrieve our stuff, didn't get here in time. For some reason, all of the potions are still here. And just the potions. Like, the ring's gone, all our runes are gone, basically all the rest of our gear and equipment, gone. Somehow, the potions are still here. I don't know why, but if you know why, let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's see if we do better fighting this quest boss this time. Also, if you didn't know, I stream live on Twitch. I've been doing it a fair bit more. I'm trying to do it quite a bit more for, well, February's over now, but I'm trying to do it a fair bit more for March, and while I do stream, I usually watch videos usually focusing on some real-life stuff, so, you know, over here, I guess, on the screen, you can see what we're watching now, but I will turn that off for a second while we do this quest boss. It shouldn't go as badly, we came a little more prepared this time, and... We brought less stuff, so we got less to lose now, too. So, here's hoping for the best. Prepared for worse now. I guess I can grab the magic potion. If we end up over that way. Guess we don't really need it, but wouldn't hurt to have. Lots of prayer potions around, so I guess wouldn't hurt to throw the prayer magic on. I think I said prayer magic, but I meant magic prayer, you know that. There we go. We cut it way too close last time. Actually died. Came just as close, it's just, yeah. You know how it'd be, but... We got the boss defeated this time, got the quest key item, and yeah, maybe we'll even finish the achievement diary tasks that are down here, and also finish the mini quest, we'll see. Maybe it's all worth it. So I got five days left of membership on the main account. The first week for what I played was basically all Slayer and range grinding. And it was nice. I got some, like, not amazing, but, like, I got gains, which is, like, all I care about on a main account. It's the main. It's the one I want to be playing forever. But, yeah. Having only two weeks to play, just grinding Slayer, Proved to not really not be the thing, so uh, I'm taking it as an opportunity to like passively clean my bank, do some quests because like I have quests that I still really need to do, and try and experiment with some of the new content. I didn't realize we were this low on nature runes, and that's the entire stack that I got in my bank. Like I said, passively cleaning the bank. The play might, for the next couple days, be to do some of the new content that wasn't around when I, like, before I started the area restricted Valid or Ultimate Iron Man grind. So I will probably, probably focus on. I don't even know where I'm going right now. I'm just gonna zoom in on my character. 
I'll probably focus on that new content, like I said. I'm thinking I will try Guardians of the Rift a little bit. Might get some nature runes that way. We do have the level to make nature runes. And I might try some Soul Wars, try and get some imbues. We'll see how that goes. Soul Wars is dead, so I guess I'll just sit here and make some gains. Use Chivalry, less Spirit Shields, Vestment Robes, and boots that we don't care about. And a combat level, well, yeah. Squirrel! I don't know if anybody is playing this Soul Wars minigame, even though it seems to me like it's fairly new, but... Every world I've checked looks like this, or much worse. So, like, maybe people are just filtering out of a game that's been in progress. Maybe the content is just that dead. I don't know. I'll wait around for a few more minutes, I guess, and yeah, otherwise, I'll try a different minigame. Holy crap! The game is not dead! Guess we're gonna have our first, uh, first Soul Wars game. This could be fun. We're about to find out anyway. It only took, like, two, maybe two and a half days to find a game, but we found a game. Maybe I will throw on my amulet at accuracy just to try both. Not sure if it's better for range than a glory or not. Yeah. Let's try Denial and Error. Denial and Error, then... Alright, it, it took a couple, maybe a few days, but we reached our zeal goal. Soul Wars, it, it's definitely playable as a mid-level account. It's not really... It's not really ideal as a mid-level account. Let me just say that much. I, I enjoyed it kind of, but now we can finally imbue our Slayer Helmet. Let's do that. Uh, where's the imbue? Let's get this. Slayer Helmet is imbued. Now it's not gonna nerf our Magic Slayer and our Range Slayer, which, you know, with these stats, we need all the help on our range slayer that we can get. Magic too, but like, our stats are only good for basically range. Anyway, next task. What do we want to do next? I'm thinking Guardians of the Rift. I've also got some friends trying to get me, well one friend, trying to get me to do Volcanic Mine with other friends, but... Fossil Island is still kind of too new school, old school for me. I have never really been there. I might not have been there at all. But maybe that's what we do tonight? I don't know. You're about to find out in the next clip, though, once I make a decision. So like I said earlier, I've been trying out the new minigame. I think I've basically got the hang of it now. It's... Honestly, it's pretty much completely replaced or replacing the runecrafting skill unless you're a specialized Iron Man. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I've got a grasp of the game, I think. And yeah, the levels come in real quick. It's way more social than runecrafting used to be. And I've got the runes that I need to be able to high alchemy again and use the rest of the insult heads in my bank that I'm able to use and don't just have to sell. So, all in all, this couple weeks worth of bond is... it's helped me clean up my bank a fair bit. And, yeah. We got two days, probably effectively about one day left. Just doing some prayer training before I do some more prayer training or slayer. I don't know which it's gonna be. I don't know if I'll get to it before membership runs out. But we're gonna find out. I should have just left the level up screen up, but we just gained a prayer level, which also gave us a combat level. Fuck yeah. 
Well, it was a good little run. I was unfortunately busier today than my RuneScape character would have liked, but even though we didn't get the last Slayer task that I was working on done, I wanted to finish the last bit of Aber Inspectors. I probably could have, but I was tired as shit last night. Our membership ran out sometime today. Way she goes. What? That's the way she goes. If you're a Bastila fan, she is running a thing on her Twitch where you can redeem channel points for bonds. I think she has at least a few left still. I will probably redeem one or two of those and work on the Valador Man. I, I might just put another... I I'd like to put just another three months, but... We don't have that option anymore. Thanks, Jagex, except not really at all. Money can't be that tight for you guys, but anyway. I've had a lot of fun these, well, this last couple weeks. It's kind of rekindled my love for the rest of the game, the game in general, and not being stuck to Falador. I, I, I still want to accomplish my Falador goals, don't get me wrong. And... And I plan to get back to working on those goals. But, yeah, Mainscape using all the content that the game has to offer, yeah, it's, it's nice. I like it. And I've enjoyed these last couple weeks. I want to thank Bastila because it, they've basically been sponsored by her. In a roundabout way, she and that promotion that I just told y'all about. That's the reason that I put membership on this account to begin with. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying the Falador Man series. And I will get back to that here in a, in a day or two. Thanks for watching. Bye.